Harley from Daily Motor, and today we've got the sound system demo of the 2022 Ford Bronco and its 10 speaker B&O audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review, we're going to take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio adjustments, inputs, controls, speaker locations, then we're going to head out on the road to list these sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. If you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning, you just want to hear the music, click ahead in the video, we've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And I recommend listening with headphones so that you can get the same experience that I'm getting here in the driver's seat. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. This, if you haven't noticed yet, is the big boy Bronco Raptor. This thing is, calm down, so much fun, so cool. It has quite the road presence, as you can see. This thing is giant. So I'll lift it up on these 37 inch tires. If you do want to see more on the Bronco Raptor or any of the other Broncos we've driven, we've driven the manual, we've driven the uh, Sasquatch, we've driven all sorts of different Broncos. So check the links in the description for all of those videos. Now we always do these tests with lossless, uncompressed wave files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system and high quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory default, so let's take a look at those now. Nice big touch screen here in the Bronco, it works pretty darn well, pretty easy to use too. We're on the media screen, I'm gonna go to sound. Up here in tone settings, we've got adjustments for treble, mid-range, and bass, let's go through those now. Beyond that, you've got your front, front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance adjustments, speed compensated volume adjustment, which we're going to turn off, and then a surround mode. You've got both stereo and surround, if you will, so surround's going to give you a little bit more of a 3D listening experience, but also add a little bit of artificial fakeness and uh, uh, hollowness to the sound. So let's go through both, see how they sound. more true to recording experience you're going to want to stay with stereo but sometimes for easier listening surround can be nice for audio controls here in the bronco you've got a nice volume knob here very rugged feeling easy to grab and turn nice clicks you've also got volume on the left side of this very busy steering wheel for track selection you've got buttons here a tuning knob here if you're in the touch screen you can use that and on the right side of the wheel buttons to go back and forth which i'm not a big fan of i like when volume and track are on the same side but Ford seems to disagree with that. For audio inputs in the Bronco, you've got your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM, Bluetooth, USB A and USB C, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto Support, both wireless and wired. So, what does that mean you're missing? Well, you don't have a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack. That's not the end of the world. You also don't have any sort of built in streaming services like Spotify or Pandora. Some newer cars are getting that, but not so in here. Speaker locations. Now, yes, the last time we reviewed the Bronco's sound system, we got the speaker locations wrong. I apologize. So let's get it right this time. 10 speaker B&O system. Starting in the bottom left, you got a light woofer there uh, down in the footwell. And then two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are what they call coax speakers. So you've kind of got it's sort of a tweeter and a mid range together. And then eight, nine are actually back there on the roll bars. They don't put any speakers in the doors because they are fully removable. And then you've got a subwoofer back here giving you 10. All right, so we're gonna get this stuff put away, go out on the road so that we can listen to these tracks at speed.
all things considered for the system, especially because it does have to fight a lot of that road noise and wind noise and general loudness of this car. But I will say that the, the balancing is not great and it does get pretty darn sloppy. You hear the, the messiness of the sound system quite a bit. So uh, would I like to see more? Yeah, at this price point, but also that's not really the point of this vehicle. I understand that it's made to be affordable. It's built at a price point and the purpose of it is to be an off-roader, not to be a music machine. Anyway, back to the sound system. Like I said a little bit ago, it's sloppy, it, it doesn't sound great, but it does have some power. And when you're listening to simpler music, especially if you're cruising, tops off, windows down, maybe even doors off, sometimes you just want a good subwoofer, bounce some beats, and just have a good time. And there's a lot of room for aftermarket stuff in here too. So given that this is an off-roader and kind of the, the point of the vehicle, it's barely scraping by with a C. All things considered, the sound quality is definitely getting into D territory, but I don't know. I'm giving it to the benefit of the doubt, I guess, but just, just barely C minus. Thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to see more on the Bronco Raptor or any of the other Broncos we've had, check the links in the description, and we'll see you on the next one.